Hi guys, it's Katie. I'm trying a new recipe, so I thought I'd take some clips to show you in case it turns out to be delicious. It says mind-blowing cauliflower soup. So let's see if my mind gets blown. I do have to make some substitutions just based on what I have on hand. I will link the original recipe down below. What I'm starting with now is just some onions and olive oil. I need to put a little salt and I'm going to saute these. And then I will put in um, probably just two of these, these two smaller ones since they're so large. I'm going to mince that up or I might use my little squeezy thingy. And then I will put in cauliflower and then it calls for vegetable broth. I'm going to do a mix of um, chicken broth and water. So that's what I have already prepared. And then we'll just cook this and then you blend it up with some cashews. So I'll pick you up at the next step. This isn't going to be a whole you know, video tutorial. Let's just see if this is a good recipe. Okay, so verdict on the soup is I thought it was delicious. My husband thought it was delicious. My four-year-old, you like it? Yeah. Thought it was good, and even my nine-month-old thought it was good. Um, what it tastes like to me is it tastes like the base of like a creamy potato soup. So I generally like heartier, like one-pot meal soup. So it tasted like a potato soup without the nice big chunks of potato and nice big chunks of onion and things like that. So. Um, this is definitely a soup you would need to serve with something else, whereas like the potato soup would be the meal, maybe a little bread or something like that. But um, for this, I would serve it with a sandwich or a larger salad or something like that. But the flavor is really good. It's a really simple recipe, not that many ingredients, which makes it really easy to whip up. But you got to make sure you're using really good ingredients. Um, I kind of skimmed on my chicken stock and watered it down a bit, so I think the flavor suffered just a little bit because of that. So if you're using veggie stock or chicken stock or whatever, make sure you're using a really rich, delicious, flavorful stock so you get the best tasting soup. But we really liked it. Like I said, I'll, I'll link the recipe down below. So if you make it, I'd love to know what you thought of it or if you change it up, what you add to it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!